Hi, my name is Jeff Hickox, and here, we're here in uh, Tennis, Costa Rica. I moved here with my wife and two boys in 2006 to get away from the cold in uh, Bethlehem, Connecticut, United States. Uh, we moved here for several reasons. We wanted to give the kids an adventure and teach them a new culture, a new language, uh, and to experience you know, this, this culture and live a simpler life. Uh, mainly, we wanted to get out of the rat race and come down here and, and live the Pura Vida lifestyle as we've all read about. I'm happy to be here contributing to Scott Oliver's We Love Costa Rica video series and teach you a little bit about how we uh, got to a tennis and why we chose a tennis. Uh, it happens to be a very tranquil, small town, but yet close to everything, everything around. Um, we all grew up in a small town, so it was very comfortable for us to come here and be in a tranquil environment. The people are very sweet here, uh, but yet we're very close to the beaches and we enjoy going into the city to get the American premium services, go to an IMAX movie. Uh, the new highway recently opened, so it makes it a uh, short distance, a short drive, about 20 minutes to get into the city. Uh, since we've been here in 2006, we've had a child at SEMA Hospital in Escazú. It was about a 45 minute drive when we first moved here with the new highway. It's about a 20 minute drive. But uh, we had excellent care. My wife's a registered nurse and was checking out all the equipment there while we were there all top-notch and uh, it was a wonderful experience. We had a private room and SEMA Hospital, uh, we did the private pay to have a C-section there. We were there three days in the hospital and all of the care for my wife and baby was $3,000. Now I think they've gone up a little bit in price but at the time, you know, coming from the American healthcare system, $3,000 was an amazing value and we feel blessed to have been here to have our child here. He's a Costa Rica citizen and uh, has all the benefits that come along with that. Of course, he has blonde hair and, and looks like a wild, wild gringo running around in the woods, but, uh, but uh, he's happy to be here and was happy to be born here. 40% Canadian, 40% American, and 20% European and, and various other uh, areas. So there's a large group of people that speak English and several of the, the Tico, Tico uh, restaurant owners and business owners also speak a little bit English, which helps the transition. But it's also still an agricultural town, which is, which is what we like about it. Like I said, we're from a small town. We really enjoy the fact that coffee's still grown here, sugarcane's still grown here, that the farmers drive up and down the street, there's horses on the street sometimes, there's boyeros on the street sometimes. And just like every other part of Costa Rica, we have wonderful uh, fiestas. Uh, it seems like every three or four months or so, we have a great fiesta here. And there's several, um, several grocery stores that make it comfortable to live here. We thought we were a little worried about getting some of the products that we like. But we could get our Heinz ketchup, we could get our Jif peanut butter. But to get the real specialty items, we do have to go into the city. But we're used to that. Coming from a small town, we're used to driving 25, 30 minutes to get, you know, premium, premium services or premium quality products. And like I said, uh, one, of the, one of the other wonderful things about living here is there's a farmer's market every Friday. And it's so wonderful to live, it's so easy and wonderful to live healthy here. Because the, the vegetables are, I'd have to say, they're almost, they're almost free, they're so cheap and they're, they're fresh all year round. Com coming from the Northeast and, and the United States, finding good tomatoes in the winter time is simply impossible. We pay $4 a pound and you still can't get good tomatoes. We're here, I, I'd have to say, as, as shallow as that is, it's one of the surprises I've had here that I really enjoy, a fresh tomato every day of the year, all year round. Um, the other thing is, for being a small agricultural town, they, they have quite a few good restaurants here, and I, I suppose that's probably because there's a, a large expat community that's made this their full-time home, full-time retirement home. There's probably about 10% of the population is expat retirees that live here full-time. And so that's brought some great restaurants. Uh, we have a wonderful Italian place in town, a wonderful German uh, deli, and several pizza places that deliver. But, uh, but no, that, as, far as, uh, as far as the tennis goes, I like the intimacy. I like, I like the fact that it's, 
that everyone seems to know each other, including the Ticos, you get to know just about everybody. This is Jeff Hickox in Atenas, Costa Rica. Thank you for listening and have a great day. Hasta luego and we'll see you soon in Costa Rica.